Allen behind that razor wire and inside the infamous U.S. detention facility at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, Abdul Latif Nasser was known as a forever prisoner, plucked from the battlefield in 2003 and held at Guantanamo for 19 years as an enemy combatant, held with no charges or trial until tonight after the legal handiwork of a Chicago attorney and a colleague he first met at U of C. He was one of the first detainees. Chicago defense attorney Tom Durkin's client was 1,680 miles away here at what's called Camp Justice. But tonight it was injustice that Durkin says brought him and his longtime legal friend from U of C, Bernard Harcourt, onto the case of Abdul Latif Nasser, who was a young man when he was captured on the battlefield in Afghanistan. He's now 56 years old. That's right. He's been there almost 20 years. Harcourt, now a prominent professor at Columbia Law School, teamed up with Durkin to extract Nasser from a never-ending confinement, especially after the 2016 decision by a U.S. government panel authorized his release, but it was quickly frozen by the Trump administration and never carried out. And that's what kind of put him in a sp special position, really, uh, legally, because there was nothing more that we could do for him. I mean, he'd been released. He was just not being released. They were just not carrying through with the government recommendation. So that's what raised this kind of unique suspension clause issue. So the attorneys challenged Nasser's habeas corpus right having been suspended. And as that slowly moved through the courts, four years later, the Biden administration ordered Nasser's release. It's an absurd position for the government to take, and they know that. And, and I think the, gov the Biden administration at least had the courage not to, not to make such a stupid claim. As the I-team talked to Durkin this afternoon, the confirmation call came in. Been released. They said to go home, enjoy, eat with your family. This is a signal that we're, they're trying to close. Uh, Guantanamo. Tonight, Nasser is reunited with his family in Casablanca. He leaves behind more than three dozen prisoners at Guantanamo, some connected to 9-11 and other terrorist incidents, but 11 other so-called forever prisoners still held as enemy combatants, even though the war in Afghanistan has been declared officially over. Tonight, attorneys Durkin and Harcourt say they're optimistic that after 19 years, Nasser's release will speed up freedom for the other 11. Alan? Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.